Welcome everyone to this video. Today I want to talk to you about tip number eight, email privacy and security. This is a very, very important topic because when you hear about data breaches and hacking in general, email is one of the most common ways that those attacks are carried out. It's not the only way, but it is one of the most common. And so it's something that very much needs to be discussed and understood. One of the first things you need to understand with email privacy and security is be very, very, very careful as to which emails you open, especially if that email contains an attachment or a link that it wants you to click on. You need to be very cautious as to where that email came from. And malicious actors are very much aware of this. They do a very good job of making the email look legitimate, look like it's from a legitimate service or source that you use, and can often trick you users into providing personal information, everything from a password to identification information that can then be used maliciously. So again, if you ever receive an email that contains an attachment or a link to click on, be very, very cautious and think before you click on that. Please keep in mind that just opening an email does provide your IP address. And so that can also be a common way for malicious actors to attack. And so you may want to consider using a VPN or even using public Wi-Fi to access those emails in conjunction with a VPN. And in addition to that, some email clients will even provide additional privacy to protect against email senders from acquiring your IP address. I would also strongly recommend that you separate out your emails or in other words, you need to have multiple email accounts for different use cases. For example, have an email account just specifically for personal contact that you give to people that you personally know and personally trust. Have a second email account for public contact, maybe something you put on a resume or list online. Have an email account strictly for just social media accounts. Have another email account for when you sign up to order something online. So on and so forth. The purpose of this is to separate out all the use cases and also helps you identify when an email may be fake. For example, if I sign up for Amazon and I get an Amazon email for my social media email account, I know immediately that it is fake because I did not use that email account to sign up for that service. In addition, make sure you always, always, always have extremely strong passwords on your email accounts. This consists of at least a password that is 20 characters long, which includes random upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Also make sure you always have two-factor authentication turned on on each email and never use the same password twice for different email accounts. And last, I would just strongly recommend that you be very, very cautious as to what information you send via email. Even if the email itself is encrypted, you never know what may happen when the receiver receives that email and what may happen with that data. So again, just be very, very cautious as to what personal information you are sending via email. With that in mind, if you're looking for an option as far as encrypted email or more privacy oriented and secure email. Proton Mail is a very common one that is out there that is recommended. They do have a free service available as well as a paid service. They're all alternatives to this service as well. But again, if you're looking for a more private, secure, encrypted email option, this is it. Please take email privacy and security very, very seriously. Be cautious, just be careful. But that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. If you'd like to support the channel, please hit the join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.